in the words of my husband, if this shit was easy, everyone would have a YouTube page. I'm learning that. Hey y'all, I'm doing this video to be transparent. Being on YouTube has not been easy. It's been stressful. It's been fun as fuck as other times. I wonder if I'm doing the right thing. I wonder if I'm too late. I wonder if my if my niche is not niche -y enough. But at the same time, I am coming with material that I care about. This ain't Facebook. It's not Instagram. It's not Snapchat. This is YouTube. This is something that I'm really putting myself out there for. So it's of course it's gonna hit different. Of course it's not gonna be the same. If it was easy, everybody would have one. I'm getting that now. I'm understanding that now. All I can do is continue to work on my craft as a content creator and continue to speak from the heart and come from a place of love because that's really where it is. So I'm, I'm gonna keep doing me. I'm not giving up. I think I'm trying to find how much do I really want to show about myself because I, I have an interesting life. Nah, but to me, I have an interesting life, of course. I think we all think we do. But most of all, I want to talk about hospice care. That is my passion. That's something that I care about. But I think something that I'm noticing is that I'm not moving much on YouTube, but I'm blowing up on TikTok. And no lie, the love I've gotten from TikTok within my first few weeks, a little over a month, has been crazy. Um, versus on my YouTube page, I'm not really moving much, but, but I'm okay with that. Again, I'm not giving up. I'm learning how to work the different platforms. We're still, still trying to be authentic, but these are some things that I've learned within my first month and a half on YouTube. One thing I've taken away from this first month is check your shit before you post it. <laughs> check it, check it, check it because I don't know when I edit the video, it seems really good to me. But then I noticed just last week from videos, like my first few videos, they are itty bitty tiny small videos on YouTube, but they show up different on TikTok. I did not know that literally y'all until like a few weeks ago. So I'm thinking, well, that's why no one's clicking on my on my stuff. You can't even see it. So one thing I would strongly recommend, check your videos because you're not, the sizes are different depending on the platform that you put them on. CapCut has a section at the bottom where you can choose what platform you're, you're gonna put the video on and it'll shape it for you. Something else is thumbnails are important on YouTube. YouTube is just a different beast. I think because there's so many people like editing and thumbnails and being catchy is really like one of the major keys to it. And just it's different on TikTok where I can just put a little some verbiage up there with my little uh, shorts picture or TikTok picture rather, and it's a hit. But on YouTube, you really have to be creative with these thumbnails. Um, what I've started using is Canva. I'm definitely not a pro as you can see from my videos, but I'm working on it. So don't get too comfortable with the thumbnails. Work on them because those that's your first impression with your viewers. So this is like my clothes that we're in right now. I work out in here. I run my business out of this room and now I'm doing some YouTube videos and TikToks in this room. And I know I need a better background. I see YouTubers and their their background is the bomb. It's like, oh, I need, I need to update my background. That's something I'm also gonna work on this next six weeks or so. Just having a nice little feng shui when I do my YouTube videos. Um, in addition, I need a microphone. <laughs> I actually bought a microphone and it wasn't a good fit. So I'm in, a, in the market of buying another microphone to do my YouTubes. Uh, actually, I've, I've bought two so far and neither one of them are doing a good job. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get another microphone. So let's see, what else have I noticed? Being prepared. But when I first started YouTube, I thought I had to post every day 
And I'm not saying that that's not true because I I tried that. What that meant for me was rushing and getting videos done. I was slacking on my editing. I was slacking on the information that I was providing and it just didn't feel authentic. So like, honestly, I wouldn't mind to go back and redo all those videos I've already done. Not sure if I'm going to do that, but it's a thought. But just take your time. If someone sends me a DM or I get a, a comment on a video, if it's not in my heart to talk about that subject right now and I may need 24, 48, 72 hours to get that done, then I'll wait. Because I've noticed that when I'm rushing into answering someone's question, I miss shit. I don't get everything out that I want to say. It's more textbooky and... It sounds scripted. I would say do what, what you're feeling for the day. I have over 500 topics, no lie, that I wanna talk about with hospice care. But I can't just, I have to go with what I'm feeling right now. Even with today, I planned on making a video about social worker duties. But I sat down, I'm like, we need to talk about how it's been for the last month. And then I could talk about social worker duties tomorrow. And lastly, I think, Something that I've learned, and this is just about running my videos back, is not sounding so repetitive. I will repeat the heck out of some words in my videos. And it's, it's kind of embarrassing. I go back, I'm like, oh my God, Michaela, how many times are you going to say whatever? Uh, signs and symptoms that death is near. I said that phrase probably 20 times in my first video. But it's okay because I am learning. And I know, who knows, when I come back with how has it been on YouTube for 90 days, I might still sound repetitive. I don't know, but we'll see. Overall, it's, this has been a nice experience. I think what I'm taking away mainly is how can I gain subscribers on YouTube? Because y'all, check out my TikTok page. When I say it's... It's crazy, I got over 700 followers in my first month, which I don't know, but that's, I'm pretty proud of it, honestly. And I'm just gonna keep going. It, it is fun, and I'm trying my best not to be discouraged by YouTube, because I don't wanna give up, and I'm not gonna give up. To my subscribers, all 25 of y'all, thank y'all for supporting me. Thank you for continuing to watch my videos. Thank you for the feedback, thank you for the likes. I appreciate it all, but hopefully this video helps you guys. I'll see you in the next one.